for a quick segment, we wanted to introduce on camera Ahe, who has been blogging for the site regularly. And now we're going to uh, get to talk a little bit about comics on camera. That sounds like fun. All right. So I guess to start off, uh, when did you first start getting into comics? I was eight. <clears throat> eight years old. Okay. 1988, if you want to know how old I am. And I started reading trades at the Honolulu Public Library. And oh, they nice. also, I don't, I don't think this is like a normal thing to do. I've never seen it in any other library, but they actually use the library binding and bound together oh, wow. uh, individual comics. Okay. So it wasn't just the actual trade. They were actually collecting, like yeah. putting comics together in yeah. a big book. Okay. Which, uh, which titles first drew you in? Uh, well, the first thing I read was ElfQuest. Ah. The books one through four, the old Father Tree you Press know, ones. I know there are all these girls. I know it was like in that eight to twelve range that ElfQuest was the thing. Well, I, I I had friends who read it. And I think my yeah. older sister read it. My older brother read it. I'm not sure if that has to do with anything, but okay. But I mean, they had I mean, people read those books so often at the library that they right. were falling apart. Like literally, wow. the covers had like the binding was all gross and shattered, and eventually they uh, had to rebind all of them and then okay. replace them with the new versions. Okay. I know because I I check these out eh, twice a year from oh so you'd eight go back through eighteen. You just go back and reread every <laughs> over, year over and over. Okay. And over and over again. Wow. All right. And did you? Was your brother recommending titles to you at that point, or you just happened to see that he? Yeah, as far as I he... know, my brother only read ElfQuest. I don't. Oh, okay. I don't know that he read anything else. Right. But I, I asked a librarian. Ah. Uh, if some... he could, if he could recommend more cartoony books to me. All right. And something he else like me, that. Yeah, he showed me where the graphic novels were in the young adult okay. section. All right. Yeah, and I think the the first thing I picked up was was George Perez Wonder Woman. All right. And I'm pretty sure it was because it was Wonder Woman. Sure. You know. and I was like, all right. Girl who kicks ass, you can't, you can't be exactly. that. Exactly. And I definitely read some things that were beyond my maturity level. I mean, I was eight, right. and I and read Dark Knight Returns. Wow. Way, way too young. Yeah, that's, that's a bit Batman Year early. One. Uh -huh. I read Watchmen, because that, that was in the library. Did you I understand read everything Watchmen? That was in the, no, like, no, no, no. No, okay. not at all. I didn't understand anything. All right. But, you know, you I understood you saw fighting. It. I understood uh, that Batman hates criminals. And that... Superman's okay, and he can kick ass. But he's sort of blind. Yes, but that Wonder Woman is awesome. Okay. Well, yeah, that, that particular Wonder Woman storyline really works yes. well. Yeah. So you got into the capes, uh, straight out of Elf Quest. Um, yeah, and I think the the first actual issue, I didn't, I didn't realize that comic books were a thing. I didn't know anyone who read them. Okay. I didn't know where you it, bought them. It was just stuff you were doing in the library. Reading exactly. Library. I was like, look, I'm reading a book. And then okay. I don't know how I found out that you could buy them <laughs> at the store. And I, I, I got my father to take me. All right. And the first issue that my father bought for me was, I believe, 75 cents. <laughs> and it was Batman 4, 424, I think. And I, okay. I wanted it because Robin was on the cover. But wow. it was it was the issue that Jason Todd like pushes that guy off the building. Wow. Yes. And so, then immediately after that was Death in the Family. So were your parents like looking through to see what the content was? Oh no. 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 My parents did not care. I don't okay. I'm sure parents don't care that much. I don't in my experience. Some do read through or get in a sense of what was, you know, but yeah. I, I guess if they're buying you Batman, they sort of understand what you're about to be reading because it's not like that's a nice book. He's always beating people up at the very least. Well, my parents' experience was Batman was the TV show, so oh. I'm sure they didn't know. Biff Bam Sock. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a little different. Yeah. All right. And so transition, like obviously you got, you started buying your own or having your parents buy it for you. Mm -hmm. um, have you been a comics reader ever since? Was there a point where you took a break or is it all it just been I, a continual? It was pretty continual. I, I kind of shifted alliances okay. in fifth and sixth grade. So like early nineties, I was definitely reading the, the, the Robin Tim Drake comic. Okay. And then I got really into all the Chris Claremont X-Men Really? It's kind of soap opery, and I was yes. really stuck on that for years. That is Claremont yeah. to a T. Yes, yeah. years. He actually was writing for teen girls. Who knew? Well, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> it worked on a 10-year-old, so what are you going to do? Well, yeah. I think all, I, I knew a lot of people who read comic books at that point in time. Oh, okay, you, know, you found grade, other people who were also into grade. it. Yeah. I actually went, um, I don't know if you know this guy. His name is David Nakayama. He's an artist. He's drawn, like, the Hulk and stuff. Oh, okay. He was in my year at school. Oh, wow. All yeah, right. so we'd have a little comic club, and he's, you know, drawn off in the corner. I actually All have right. some original David Nakayamas. Wow. He drew Longshot for me. Because nice. I thought Longshot was cute. Oh. Uh, That's what girls read. Okay. Oh, a cute guy in comics. Robin. That's what you were, you were into Tim Drake, Okay, Robin. I liked Tim Drake because he was a nerd. He played Dungeons uh, & Dragons, and right. he was super smart. Okay. 
Um, I mean, he put pants. Pants. I no longer want to wear a bikini bottom. I want to wear pants because I'm not stupid. That's a direct quote. There we go. Yeah, not, so, not really. no. so I think it was in Robin miniseries <laughs> number two. Oh, okay, right. One so, <laughs> that's the yeah. one. Joker's Wild. I yeah. think is what oh, it's called. Okay. Yeah. Now, I, I I tried to take a break in in high school because mm-hmm. I had friends who didn't really. I was an athlete. Right. But not a lot want... of people read comic books. I would actually go to Jellies, which was the the comic book store nearest oh, where okay. I lived, in like a baseball cap. And sunglasses, wow. and, a, and a big bag, because it was in a strip mall next to all kinds of other stuff, and I was and deathly you afraid. You didn't want to be identified. That someone would see me, but wow. I kept reading them. I don't think I, I don't think I've ever really taken a break. I've kind all of right. dialed down. Was there a point where you decided that it was not a shameful thing anymore? That you just didn't care if people knew, or you found other friends that in also college. read in college? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, there's, I think there's always a certain amount of, for me anyway, because I, I, I feel that people look kind of askance at you. If you're if you're a woman no. and you read comic books, or you know, well, there's that there's that either that you know, the women don't read comics or they do read comics but they don't read the capes, um, right? Or it's, it's like oh, oh you read romance books or, probably, huh? Oh, does your is that are those the titles <laughs> your boyfriend is reading? <laughs> this 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 is this is um and it still happens. Uh yeah, in the store I I, I think I wrote right. about it on the blog. I went in, should I? You can name them or not, but just say, well, a, a local store. You I went to a into, local not store. One. Yes, not Arcane, definitely not. A local store that I go into because it is convenient for me. <laughs> and there was a maybe 16, 17-year-old mm-hmm. girl there. And she had she literally had an armful of books. She had, okay. and, and I kind of looked them so over. So a serious reader uh, of Apparently. Comics. And, yeah. you know, I mean, she had, like, she had X-Men. And, um, All right. You know, it's not like it was just a bunch of fables or something. Right. And there's nothing wrong with fables. I like fables also. I'm just saying <laughs> that she yes. wasn't a, a niche reader. Okay. And the young man who worked there came up to her and asked if she was buying for herself or for someone else. And you're like... But that's not what he asked specifically. The he asked specifically was, for her boyfriend. Are you buying it, are you buying boy- Are you buying these for yourself or for your boyfriend? Which is really offensive. Yeah, because nobody would ever ask a guy if he was buying them for his girlfriend. Unless, unless he was buying fable. Unless it was, like, you know, people look a little weird at Kevin buying Archie comics and wonder about that, but that's different. That is that is different. Uh-huh. But, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> d- yeah, people always presume a little bit about girls reading comics. It's a little yes. strange that it, even now, like, it's usually accepted. And given how much, you know, it's not like it was just guys going to see the Batman movie. Like, it made a billion dollars. This is clearly a lot of women also wanted to see that. And yet, there are still people who presume, oh, you're reading X-Men, it must be for you. For the movie. Because you like Hugh Jackman, because he's dreamy. Right, that's why you went to see Wolverine, right? Well, actually, I went to see Wolverine because Ryan Reynolds was in it, but that's neither (laughs) here nor there. Um, so you still do read a lot of the Cape books, like even now it's not. I, like... I think I read mo- it almost almost exclusively. Okay. Cape books, um, mostly okay. DC. Uh, if there's if there's a Bat family member in it, I will read it. Uh, there okay. are some female Bat family members right. nowadays. Well, Bat woman, yes. So <laughs> all right, so we got a, a nice little discussion there. It's the stuff you're reading, and maybe we'll talk a little more about other issues later on. But that was, uh, you know, we just wanted to introduce you to the general comic world. Everybody who listens and watches the podcast, Backroom Comic Podcast, check us out everywhere (laughs) on the internet.